This video is powered by the pros at Pascal Air Plumbing and Electric. Arkansas owned, Arkansas operated. GoPascal.com. What all did you have working today? And just what was the mentality like going into this kind of situation and pitching in a big loop ballpark? Um, I had a fastball and cutter working today, nothing else. I was just showing pitches. Um, really didn't have my best stuff. Just having to battle a little bit. But uh, when you have 10 runs in the third inning, it's pretty easy. Just settle down and pitch and throw throw to the catcher. So, um, yeah, overall, I mean, it was it was a it was a good day for first win, um, but got a long way to go. Did, la did last night's result obviously even pitch? But did watching last night's game have any effect on just the way you approach today's game, or kind of make you more eager to go out there? Oh, uh, for sure. I I I like I like the throwing on Sunday spot. If we're two and zero, I want to sweep, and if we're one and one, we're not going to lose. So um, I like I like that role, and um, if I stay in it, I'll stay in it. Yeah, I thought um, you know just having really good plate discipline. Um, there was, I mean, throughout the whole weekend, not just this game, I felt like there was, we were all really tough outs. Um, I thought that, um, you know, there was a little lineup um, changed a little bit today. And, you know, I thought guys were really comfortable up in the plate. I thought that, um, you know, I just thought that guys weren't trying to do too much. I thought we were just taking what we were given. We knew our approach uh, through the scouting report. We knew, um, especially with the, the starter, that, you know, he was going to keep trying to live away to lefties. and. Um, that Seeker was going to kind of go into righties, and I just thought that you know we stuck to a good approach, and and um, overall it was a it was a good day for uh, for the hitters offensively. I think we did well uh, with plate discipline. We didn't swing at any uh, you know balls that were borderline up in the count, and then uh, when they made a mistake, you know we made them pay, which was really really good to see. So I think that was uh, really really good to see. Proud of our offense. Jared, how do you assess your overall? Week? Uh, it was it was pretty good, yeah. It was uh, it was a fun weekend, uh, you know. I uh, just it was it was one. It was fun. I don't know. <laughs> hey, you, you and Tavian were uh, you know I think y'all had one hit coming into the game. We're able to get a few big hits in today. Just how good did that feel to kind of? Yeah, I mean, I thought um, for the whole weekend, you know, I was um, super content with my uh, my at bats. Um, I was having really good quality at bats, um, hitting balls hard. Just stuff wasn't falling, and you know, I knew I was going to get rewarded. Um, and you know, I kind of um, I was sitting away on that that at bat, the the ball that hit up the middle. He kind of went in. He made a good pitch. Um, I was able to keep my hands through it and hit one up the middle, but. Um, it was it was it was nice to be able to see that um, get some RBIs and get some guys in, especially with two outs. And so, um, but yeah, me and Tavian, um, Tavian, he's had uh, he had a great three three day weekend, and um, you know we're looking forward to, to continue to see him at the leadoff spot, um, producing. He plays really good defense as well, and so um, you know we're uh, just trying to get on base for this man right here for uh, for him to do the job. Jared, what was the key to your success this weekend? I think. Uh, it comes down to just swinging at good pitches, pitches that you can drive. Um, I think that, uh, you know, my plate discipline was really well. So when it was there, I was able to either foul it off or, you know, get my swing off on it. Yeah, I think um, for me it was a little different just because I remember, you know, just a couple months ago we played these guys in, in the postseason and, you know, I was excited to play those guys. Um, they have a really good team. There were some guys that are on there that I'm good friends with. And, um, you know, I thought that we went into the game and I thought that we were really focused. Um, we had a nice uh, hitters meeting at uh, this morning with Coach Thompson and everybody was, was pretty into it. We were all pretty involved. Um, you know, there was a lot of talking from him and a lot of listening from us. And I thought overall, you know, I think we prepared for this, um, especially with the way that we got beat yesterday. I think that we came in and, you know, I think we had our heads on straight and we were just focused and we just ultimately just wanted to battle and beat tough outs. The thing you're doing, the returning player, uh, going back to Bob after so long, away, how much you guys look forward to this long 
Yeah, it's going to be fun. Um, I've always enjoyed playing on the road, but just playing in the atmosphere that we have is, um, I mean, you can't beat it. It's one of the best ballparks in the country, one of the best atmospheres in the country. Our fans are crazy. Um, you know, I kind of looked at this weekend as home games because of how many fans we had here. It was crazy. But, um, but we're all excited, and, you know, I know a lot of these guys have been able to experience what bomb walkers like at a full capacity, so I'm, I'm excited for it, and I'm looking forward to seeing these guys, seeing what it's all about. Hunter, I think both of your walks were to McLean. I think with runners on, and it obviously worked out well for you each time, didn't allow any after that. Was that kind of on by design, or was it just a matchup you were okay to pitch around, or what was that? Um, in, the, in both at bats, the first two fastballs were both up a little bit. You didn't give them to me, and so it, I wasn't going to let, you know, Riggio and McLean beat us. So I wasn't going to let them get, get the bats rolling. So after that, I was going to stay away because I know um, with the left-hander first baseman, I, I knew I could get him. So um, I, I wasn't, once I got down, I wasn't going to let, let their team get, get some fire and think they had a chance. Uh, it, yeah, it was it was really fun. Uh, you know, we were very confident in this Sunday game. You know, bouncing back after yesterday. Um, you know, I think everyone in the dugout was pretty confident in in what he could do, and he uh, showed what he can do. So, I, it was uh, it was really great to see. Yeah, me and Hunter um, have been hanging out for the past couple of weeks, and I mean, he wouldn't just stop talking about how excited he was to pitch and. Um, when he was, when he knew that when we came out with uh, that he was going to be the Sunday guy um, this weekend, he was so fired up. That's all he could talk about, and I knew he was excited. And you know, after we got beat pretty bad last night, he came up to me. He's like, I, "I need to pitch. Like, I can't wait anymore." And so, um, you know, I knew he was ready. He was, he loves this. He lives for these moments. And just for him to go out there and just throw strikes, and um, you know, not trying to do too much. When you have a big lead like that, you just kind of pitch to contact. Just let them sit, let them get out. And I thought he did a really good job of that. So I'm, uh, I'm really proud of him. Yeah, I thought it, you know, I mean, for for majority, I felt like on the weekend it kind of benefited us more. But, you know, then again, I I don't, I mean, it's it's whatever. I mean, you know, it's rules. You got to follow them. But, um, you know, I, I don't necessarily think, I think with runners in scoring position, it's kind of a little different. Um, now, if it's there's nobody on, nobody out, then I think that, you know, there's definitely should be something in place. But, you know, we got to, there's rules, we got to follow them. So, um, you know, I think it, I don't really think it speeds the game up. I mean, we played TCU yesterday, and you know it took. Now, granted, there were a lot of runs scored and stuff, but I mean, it still took a long time. Um, if the game doesn't go to seven innings today, then it still takes a long time. So, you know, I just think baseball should just kind of be kept the way it is. And you know, people that watch the game, they they understand that. Yeah, I, I don't like it at all. I think I think it's horrible. But uh, it's it's, and I and I I've always worked fast ever ever since I started pitching and. You know, I'd, I'd like today. It was my first time really get get to see that clock winding down. I'd catch the ball and put my foot on the rubber and look in, and it's already at you know nine seconds or something. I'm like, that's it's nuts. Um, but I think we handled it great for for the first weekend. Yeah, I'm not. Oh, I'm not. I'm not a huge fan of it, um, especially with the run game. So if the, the clock's winding down and you know they can they can fault and then steal on that, so uh, changes the game like that. I. I think with runners uh, on base, I don't think that should be a thing. Bet Online remains your number one source for all your sports betting this season. Everything from the NFL and bowl season to esports. You'll find the latest odds, team matchup info, player news, and game trends at Bet Online. Bet Online features live betting, free contests, and live scores for almost any sport or game imaginable. We're the fastest and easiest way to bet on all your favorite leagues and events. Head to betonline.ag to join and receive a 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit. Make sure to use the promo code BELIEVE to receive your rewards. That's B-L-E-A-V. BetOnline, where the game starts.